Hey guys, Ernest Langdon from Langdon Tactical, and today we want to go through some fundamentals of best practices in safe gun handling. So when we talk about gun safety, the first thing that comes into play are our basic four safety rules. And let's talk about each one of those briefly. The first one is treat every firearm as if it was loaded. And what we mean by that is regardless of what you are doing with that gun or how much you think you know the condition of that gun, you still always treat it as if it has loaded magazine, round in the chamber and all of that stuff. And if we treat it that way, then we won't make other mistakes with it. Along with that, the next one, and one of the most important ones is never cover anything with the muzzle that you're not willing to destroy. And what you wanna do is act like there is an infinite laser beam or lightsaber coming out of the end of that barrel and whatever it crosses, it can chop it off. And if you act that way and you're very cautious with how you maneuver that muzzle to make sure that it doesn't cover any part of your body or anybody else's body, including if there are other places in the house on the other side of walls that a bullet may go through, you point that thing only in a safe direction. And that is probably one of the most important safety rules on top of that. The other one that I really want to overemphasize is keep your finger straight and on the frame of the gun until you've made the decision to fire. And this means as soon as I'm not aimed in or aiming the gun and firing, I want to get my finger off of the trigger. This is especially important when we're dealing with striker fired guns or other guns that don't have any external safeties to prevent accidents. The thing that you have to remember is if your finger is relaxed inside that trigger guard, a lot of things can cause you to have a startle response or slip and pull that trigger. If car backfires, someone slams the door or you're moving around and you trip and stumble, you might accidentally flinch up and fire the gun. So by keeping your finger straight and on the frame of the gun, that is gonna prevent that from happening and make you much safer in your gun handling. And then finally, be aware of your target, what is in the foreground and background. And what that means is when you're in the range and shooting, or if you ever really have to use the firearm, we wanna make sure that pass throughs or misses are not gonna injure anyone else. We wanna be very cognitive of where all of those rounds are going to make sure that they land in a safe place. Place. Now let's back up just a little bit when we start talking about safe gun handling. When we pick the gun up or we draw it from the holster, we want to be careful of where the muzzle direction is and how we grab the gun. We want to be very thoughtful in how we pick that gun up so that the finger is always straight and off the trigger. One of the things that you're going to find that will make you much more comfortable in handling your gun is spending time just putting the gun down and picking the gun up and being aware of where your finger is at all time in and around the trigger or the trigger guard of the gun. Understand that all of your fingers matter. So if you reach and go to grab for a gun and you don't have a full grip and this finger falls onto the trigger, you can still cause problems. So we wanna be consistent in how we grab the gun to make sure that our grip is the same way every time and that finger stays up in an index point on the frame of the gun, preventing us from making those mistakes. And it doesn't matter if I'm picking the gun up with my dominant hand or my support hand, I wanna do exactly the same thing every time. When we start talking about muzzle direction, when we pick a gun up, again, always treating as if it was loaded. If I need to move this gun and you're standing there talking to me and I wanna point it in that direction now, I'm not gonna swing it across you. I'm gonna make sure that muzzle doesn't cover me or you so that I can bring it around and point it in the other direction. So I'm being very cautious of how I handle the gun and I'm being very overt for myself and for you if you're in the area. When we start talking about handling guns often, we talk about showing someone the firearm that we have or someone showing us a firearm that we may be interested in. There is a common courtesy that is always followed. If I'm gonna hand you a firearm, I'm gonna unload it first. I mean, I'm gonna remove the magazine or whatever is required for that gun. I'm gonna lock the slide to the rear. I'm gonna visually and physically and check the chamber and the magazine well, and then I'm gonna hand it to you in a way that I don't cover myself with a firearm and I don't cover you with the firearm. We wanna be very cautious of that 
when we're passing the gun back and forth between people if we're both handling and or trying out new guns. Also, when it comes to best practices, this firearm should be unloaded unless it's on my body or it's locked in a safe location. We have to be very careful about leaving loaded firearms around, especially if they're children or other people that may not realize that there's a loaded firearm around. If you live alone or you live in a household where everybody is fully trained, that's fine. But if you're going to keep it loaded, it needs to be in a location where others can't access it, as well as I would highly recommend that that firearm is in a holster that's designed for that gun and fully covers the trigger guard area of the gun as well. This prevents if I have to reach and grab it in a moment of excitement for me accidentally getting to the trigger, as well as it prevents other things from possibly getting to the trigger and causing the gun to discharge when I don't want it to. So it being in a nice secure holster that covers the trigger guard is a really good best practice for storage of a loaded firearm. So another thing to consider, if you plan on or if for some reason you decide to carry your firearm in what we would consider an off-body carry, i.e. in a purse or a gym bag or something of that nature, you also want to have the firearm in a holster because we want to keep that trigger guard covered. Make sure that things don't get into the trigger, i.e. a pen, a lipstick, anything like that, car keys that could possibly bind up, cause that gun to discharge, and by securely covering the trigger guard, we can prevent that from happening. Last thing I wanna leave you with when it comes to best practices, when you do go to the range to practice, and hopefully you'll get to do that a lot, when you're handling that firearm and firing the gun, I really want you to focus on being in the habit of constantly paying attention to the muzzle and making sure that finger comes back off of the trigger every time you come back off the target. There's no reason to be standing in any kind of relaxed position with your finger inside the trigger guard. This should be your auto response, always putting that finger straight anytime we're not actually firing the gun. Okay guys, if you follow these basic fundamental safety rules and spend some time practicing with handling your gun and paying attention to those details, you're gonna be very safe you'll be more comfortable and the people that are around you will also be more comfortable. So go out there, train, make sure you're safe, and we'll see you next time.